hey guys welcome to this video and uh, in, in this video we will learn how to add and how to remove uh, uh, the nic team i mean nic nic uh, team which we configured in the server 2012 r2 earlier video we have learned how to configure uh, the nic team and uh, how it create the fault tolerance if one nic will be down how we will get the connected from the other nic so we will learn learn all on the uh, these things on the earlier video so this video is for this uh, deleting i mean removing and adding uh, an ic okay so thanks for watching this video and uh, i remain i just remind one more things to you which you do not forget to like this video if you like it if you wanted any questions uh, on your mind if you want to ask please put on in the comments and if you wanted to get this video on your mail please subscribe thanks for watching this video so again welcome to this video please uh, look at over here we have created one team right if you wanted to delete teaming you can delete over here and just delete it so it asks all members adapter will be returned to the non-team state i mean non-team there is no team right yes delete these things so see it's configuring what i done wait for some time Our, there is no team right if you wanted to add uh, some team you can add a new team and create the team uh, like uh, team 2 and we can create 2 cards and I told you from here you can give us uh, standby which one to standby which is one. so there should be one active one standby right so you cannot uh, get the link aggregation over here in this uh, scenario because one is standby right both are not active one is standby i have selected over an ethernet one so ethernet zero will be down then it will come at the time of ethernet zero and one both are off so it should not be uh, transfer the data in the two gbps it should be transfer the data only one gbps this is what the standby adapter will work right it should not be take automatically over here if one the primary will be down then the ethernet one will be off this is what things right so uh, I can create okay now it's creating okay so uh, see if the team has created that name is team 2 but two ethernet cards are added in this team if you see over here wait for some time it's uh, creating it's configuring okay so one is uh, remain is that if you wanted to add this one also to this how we can do it i can show you in this video wait for some time so let it configure both of this okay. wait for some time connection pending will connect no issue and i will show you in the meanwhile if you connect to this if you want to add this uh, ethernet i'll show in this team too it's just right click over here and add a new team so it's showing so it's add not new team Okay, yes from here also you can create another team like uh, see it's showing now if you want to create uh, add this uh, ethernet to an uh, existing team uh, then you just right click over here add team 2 so you can adding this it automatically come to this uh, team 2 right so it will work so i hope you understand entire thing on this uh, nic teaming uh, overview and nic teaming uh, uh, you know uh, what the configuration part is there what the um, um, fault tolerance part is there what are the failover part there uh, everything you have learned in the entire part of this nic teaming video i hope you understand all these things so do not forget uh, to watch uh, if you started this nic team watching the nic teaming video please watch all the videos if you not watch all the videos you will not understand you won't be understand these things so i hope you oh, enjoy this video and uh, keep watching my channel
thanks for watching this video